Hey everybody, this is Cher, and look at this! I have a huge haul! And my design team kit from Scrapbooking with Me Boutique, and I am so excited. I don't have to share all of this with you. So let me organize it, and I'll share it. Be right back. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to share with you is my design team kit that came from Edith Scrapbooking with Me. And <clears throat> she puts a kit, a kit together every month, but this is not a normal, this is not one of the normal kits. This is um, something a little bit different that she's doing this month. So what I got is the Graphic 45 Good Old Sport paper. Oh, so excited. This paper is very cool. If you have men in your life, <clears throat> especially men that are athletic, which I do, and <clears throat> just love it. I love the vintage feel of it. It is just really pretty. And I love, of course, all graphic 45 is, you know, but I love it. And there's some women in here. So it's men and women, mostly men, but <clears throat> definitely more masculine. Um, but like, you know, of course, the women golfers. Very cool. My parents both golf. I used to golf <clears throat> until I started this. <laughs> I love this, this right here, this old newspaper print. Very cool. It's like the sports pages. <clears throat> and this one too, very vintage. I love this little bicycle thing right here. <clears throat> of course, you always have like cards, <clears throat> note cards. A graphic 45, University. Love the stripes on that. And this one is very cool. Very colorful. I just love graphic 45 paper. This is the other side. So this will be fun to work with and make a project this month. <clears throat> love the little scorecards right here. Very cute. And then this stripe and the little stamps. So <clears throat> that's the paper. I'm sorry about, I'm still sick. I actually got better and then got sick again. So um, it's been quite a month or month and a half. My second part of my the, the kit was some of these <clears throat> junk card finding keys. Love, love, love. This one looks like a clock key. So those are fun. And then I also got some Prima flowers that will go nicely with this um, paper as well. Some bling. Look at how pretty that is. And this comes from Zeva. I think, yeah, ZVA Creative. That's really pretty bling. It's very iridescent looking. And then we got all of these new products that she's going to be carrying in the store. A lot of these new metals. Oops. Oh, and beads. And she'll be carrying these. Oh, I wanted to show you these little hangers. Aren't those cute? These are from Fab Scraps. They're little hangers. Can you see? Oh, yeah. And I think they're made out of like a chipboard. They're very dainty looking. I'm so excited about those. I love those. <clears throat> Some more wooden pieces. A little butterfly. A bird. Love, love. And then these new beads. <clears throat> Oops. These are really pretty. Love this one. This one. Really pretty for stick pins. And she gave us an assortment of different beads. <clears throat> Glass and pearl. These little buckle sliders are super cute. Oops. Things are moving all over the place. They're like a little um, pearl. But I like them because they're really little. So they would go really cute with thin ribbon. And some flat backs. <clears throat> I'm sorry, these little beads are going all over the place. Those for flower centers. So I got all of those little beads. This was my, oh, and then these. Oh, God, I love these. These are like little postcards or card cards, but they're so cool. Old vintage photos. Look at how cool that is. And this one, too. Love that. Isn't that fun? At Walking His Dog. So that would be really cute in this, <clears throat> with this paper collection as well. So I have some ideas, so I'll get started on those soon. Hopefully I, oh, I didn't, forgot to show you these too. These are like metal flowers. Aren't those great? And they have a section right here. You can actually add bling to them if you wanted to in the center. Love, love, love. 
Actually, I might use one of these on my current project because <clears throat> I'm making a, a couple of cigar boxes that are kind of masculine. And, you know, you just don't want to add foo-foo flowers on a masculine piece of work. So, all right, so let me get this all cleared up and then I'll show you my haul. Oh, I've got some great things I'm really excited about. Pretty soon I'm going to need to have more space. I'm going to need a bigger room. I wonder how my husband's going to feel about that. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is my haul. Ha so, <clears throat> everybody knows how much I love the last um, Fab Scraps paper line that we got and I made a little mini album out of it. Well, I got the set again. I went ahead and ordered an extra kit because I just loved this paper. I love this little mini album, just darling. And this came in the kit, and then you get two embossing powders and two Lindy Stamp Gang sprays. So I ordered an extra kit for myself. Love, love, love that. That was from the February kit. And if you want, I'll go ahead and link my video. I'll link both the videos, the uh, haul or the showing you the kit, and then I'll also link the pro the mini album I made with the kit in the description below if you want to check that out. And then I got my Graphic 45 order. Oh, I love it. So what Edith does every month is you can order a bundle, and she's got um, several different bund bundles. She's got like an A bundle, and then, or, sorry, she starts out with like a one, two, and three large bundles, and then you can break it down, and you can do order like a 1B without stamps, um, without certain items so it works out really well this time so you can actually get everything in a really good price so what I did is I ordered one of the bundles and now I didn't get the stamps so I ordered like a 1b or a 2b I can't remember but um <clears throat> oh, I love this paper it's so pretty I am really sorry I don't know why I have a lot of glare on my let's see if I turn that down a little bit anyway this paper is gorgeous 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 there's the back side I'll kind of flip it like this Look at how sweet that is. I don't know if you haven't seen it. You might have. Love this. Look at how sweet. I am just a graphic 45 nut. I love, love, love their paper. And I'm anxious to see who's going to be on the new team. They've got a new design team call out there. Look at how pretty that is. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So that's the 12 by 12. Then I also got this little, um, let me see if I can break it open. Of course, my tools are. <clears throat> this is a 6 by 6 pattern pa pa paper. And it's really good for like the backgrounds because they're just the same colors, but they don't have all of the pretty images. Well, they have some pretty images, but they have more more of the solid images. <clears throat> so I think those are really pretty. So I got, of course, the 8x8, the 6x6, and the 12x12. And then I ordered the flower set the, um, that you can make flowers with. And the tags. That's pretty and banners, and then the chipboard. Oh, I guess I got both chipboards, cool. I love having everything of, the collections that I really like, I love having the whole thing. And here's the little tags and um, envelope pockets. And then I got both the sticker sheets. So the letters and this one. Love. I love the colors. They're just absolutely gorgeous. So that's what I got from Graphic 45. And then I also ordered, I, I didn't want to do a whole um, collection on this one. I just got the 8x8 pad because I have something in mind for this. Um, and I love this paper too. I'm not sure. The bot is called By the Sea. I didn't think I would use the whole collection like I would on these and I like the couture because those are like my super favorite but I still wanted this because I have an idea of this too to, to use. 
I actually went to Boston several years ago, and I have a whole bunch of pictures that I've really never done anything with. So this little paper really would do something, would be really pretty in an, in an album for that, if I ever have the chance time. So then the last that I got are some little embellishments. Let's see, did I get everything? I think I did. I got these. These are Prima um, Shabby Chic Treasures, and they are, of course, <clears throat> By the sea, I got them for this to use as embellishments for this project right here because I love them. I thought they would go really well with this paper. And I couldn't resist. I love having things with um, wood tiles. So this is a wood alphabet tile set. And these are made by Bottle Cap Ink. And so, of course, I got two of them. So I got those. And I have been using. Um, re-inking my Spectra markers that have dried out with um, denatured alcohol. Edith posted a um, video that showed you how to do that, and so I got this, got that for this. But these are good to have around little droppers, especially if you're not wanting to contaminate something, which believe me, I have done. So, like for example. Oh, I'll think of something like this, like one of my sprays. If I wanted to use this for one of my sprays instead, to mix it in with like molding paste or something, I could use this. So anyway, got those, and then I ordered some more of these basic gray magnets, and they, these are the ones that came in two sizes. So I have some discs that are this size, but I ordered the bigger ones too for like heavier duty closures, like maybe for. Um, a mini album closure. These would be good. These little smaller ones are good for just closing um, little flaps, but this would be good for for um, closing up the whole. I wanted to see if they showed the strength, but they don't. Closing up the mini album cover. So anyway, that's what I got. So that is my haul from Scrapbooking With Me Boutique. I'm loving, loving, loving it. So now I have to go put it away or find places for it. I'm running out of room. So those are all my goodies from Scrapbooking With Me Boutique. And I'm going to go ahead. I will put a link down below for the boutique. It's a, Like I said, it's a Facebook group. So um, the group is closed. But if you want to come and join, just ask, for, ask to join the group. We're over 2,000 members now. It's fantastic. And i um, just really excited to be part of it. And um, I'm also going to link, like I said, the mini album and the previous kit for the Fab Scraps. Really great. And the mini album that I created. So those links will be down below. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.